In this video, we're going to look at embedded data, which you can use to show a score at the end of a task. So first, let's just have a look at this task. You'll be shown a set of simple maths problems. Answer them using the box provided. You have five seconds to answer each question, after which the computer will automatically progress to the next question. How many minutes in an hour? How many hours in a day? How many days in a week? How many weeks in a year? That's eight. Now I'm going to get this one wrong on purpose. Okay. Now, what you will have noticed is that there were two different question types. There were arithmetic questions, which had were like addition, subtraction, division, multiplication. And there were knowledge questions, which were the word-based questions, number knowledge, how many days in a week, how many weeks in a year. And I got one of those wrong. And so here we've shown two scores that I got all of them right on the arithmetic. So five correct zero incorrect. There were five questions, which gives me a percentage of 100%. The other half of the screen was showing me how I did on knowledge-based questions. And there I got one wrong, so I got four correct out of my five, and so my percentage was 80%. Let's go and see how this was all set up. So how was this set up? Here on the test screen, which is where I showed the maths, the maths question, I have this section called embedded data settings and I'm storing the correct answer count as embedded data called and now this is not a static value called correct or correct score this is a value that's going to be populated from the spreadsheet and the same for the rest of these so I have to go and look in a column called correct score to find out what the variable name is that each question is going to have their, the correct score and total score and incorrect score and percentage score saved into. So if I go and look at the spreadsheet now, here are the spreadsheet columns and you can see that all of the arithmetic style questions were stored in variables called, so the correct was arithmetic one, so for true, so arithmetic one, arithmetic one, arithmetic one. All the incorrect scores were in arithmetic zero, zero for false, arithmetic zero, arithmetic zero, arithmetic zero. All of the total scores were in arithmetic, arithmetic tot, and all the percentage, sorry, here as well, here as well, here as well, and all of the percentage scores in arithmetic PC, PC for percentage, same idea. Now when I go back to the task structure and look on our debrief screen, you can see that here I'm showing the correct was looking at arithmetic one, incorrect was arithmetic zero, total was arithmetic top and percentage was arithmetic percentage and I've done the equivalent on the knowledge side so all of the num uh, number knowledge questions have similar but rather than arithmetic it's knowledge knowledge one knowledge zero knowledge total and knowledge percent and when you go back to the chart structure you can see those on this side knowledge one knowledge zero knowledge total and knowledge percent so what I've shown here to summarize is that you can store how somebody is performing as embedded data, but you don't just have to store it in a static value. So have the same value for every trial. You can also have it in a value that's populated by your spreadsheet. So it can be, um, so you can change it trial to trial.